Hello friends, today is May 6th when I'm doing this voiceover and this is the state of our house. Oh, the puppies are going to be loud. This is the state of our house right now. Um, I'm just gonna give you, this is just a little bit of a look about what we are kind of at right now. Um, but in t the rest of today's video, I am giving my new empty house a thorough cleaning before we move stuff in. I vacuum and wipe out cupboards. I wash cabinet faces and walls. I'm washing baseboards and windows. I sweep and steam clean my carpets. I put new liners in all of my cupboards. And last but not least, my husband even makes an appearance as he has to do a little surgery on the cupboard above our fridge so that it can fit. So pop my video on your TV, tablet, or phone and clean along with me or just sit back and relax with your favorite drink and stockpile this cleaning motivation for future use. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell notification for more inspiring motivational videos. Let's be friends on Instagram too. You can find me at at home with Elizabeth. So as you're seeing friends, we moved in officially the first night in our new house was Wednesday, May 2nd, I believe. Um, and today is the 6th. So as you can see, we've made a ton of progress. Um, most of the kids' rooms are set up. Um, they kind of, we set their stuff in and they kind of like went to it. And then, of course, it was up to my husband and I to do the rest of the house. So, of course, our room and the rest of the house is a little worse for wear. But that's okay. We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. And I want to welcome you to my channel or welcome you back. If you're new around here, my name's Elizabeth. I'm a 50 year old stay at home mom and wife to seven adult slash teenage children. I have two girls. Um, yesterday was my oldest daughter's birthday. She just turned 26. My youngest daughter is 22 and she just finished up her senior year in college. I have three boys, 19, 16, and 14. My 19 year old is finishing up his first year of college he'll be done on Friday and he'll be back home and then I'm an auntie to two additional teenage boys 15 year old twins they're my nephews I got custody of them about two years ago um on my channel you'll find cleaning you'll find a little bit of decorating you'll find some decluttering and organizing um if you're really new around here this is a brand new house we are actually first time home buyers we just bought our first home and we just moved in. So there is going to be lots of content for setting up this new house and making it our own. We have now come down to the basement. As you can see, my younger son has his room set up. My older son will be right beside him. We have had two contractors in. We are waiting on bids and they have told us that they'll both be able to start work in about two weeks and then it should be done in about three to four weeks. And um, that will be uh, our whole basement finished. All right, we are starting off with these kitchen cupboards. As you know, I have a hungry pack of boys that need fed every day. So my first job in this new house was to get this kitchen set up. So I am getting all of my cupboards vacuumed out and I'm gonna get them wiped out and then I'm going to start getting a liner in them. Um, now friends, the, the video over the next couple videos is very patchy. I mean, I would have hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of videos if I would have videotaped everything. What I tried to do is when I started a new job, I videotaped it, um, I filmed it like for a little bit, and then I would shut my camera off and then I would just put my head down and plow through it. So this right now, we're starting with getting these cupboards vacuumed out. 
And as you can see right here, she left me, the old um, owner was a widow, she left me a few um, like corneware things. I will tell you one of my favorite features of this house are these pull-out drawers. I have two of them, three of them. I have three of them right now, and I've actually already or ordered on Amazon a few things to make a couple more drawers pull out. So I don't know if you can see that back there, there's an applesauce cup. I couldn't reach it, the cupboard's just too small, so this is my youngest son. Bless his heart, he came in and got the strange applesauce cup out for me. <laughs> Without a, you know, it took a little bit of prodding. Um, and then he's gonna come right back because I swear there was a coin here as I started vacuuming and it wasn't. I, I tried to be like, oh, it's a coin, you can keep it. It was just a felt pad off of something. So, eh, he didn't get anything out of it, but to help his mama. Um, and this is another feature I like is these, um, this section here where I can put all of my cookie sheets and pans that I roast vegetables and stuff on, and my cooling racks, they all stand up nicely. Um, but as I was saying, one of my favorite features in this house, this kitchen, are those pull-out trays. Can you spy to the right in the background there, a nephew? Yeah, just on his phone while Auntie is out getting all the work done. All right, so everything is vacuumed out and we have got my trusty Cedar mop and we are mopping all the faces, faces of the cupboards. But friends, I gotta tell you, I broke my mop. You're gonna see. Oh, look at that, nice save. Nice save, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, you're gonna see here, it must be the next time I go and ring it, like it snapped. And so that was put on hold for a while, so I'm gonna move into, here it is, I slowed it down for you. Like right there, it just snapped. And I don't know if you just heard that, but the puppy whines and barks in the background. Yes, friends, not only did we move, and it's chaotic, we added two non-week gold golden doodles to our house. Um, so I'm gonna fumble here with my broom for a little bit, trying, I'm, I'm thinking that I can fix it, and I can't. So we're going to stop mopping for a little bit, and I believe we move into the living room. Yes, we're gonna start vacuuming in here. And friends, you will see lots and lots and lots of people in the background. Not only will you see my children and my nephews, but my youngest son, a lot of his friends live in our neighborhood here. And this is literally the first day you're going to see, see some of them. Um, I think he had four or five friends over directly after school. Um, so yeah, you're gonna see lots of teenage boys and me talking back and forth with them. <laughs> I just want to mention here the vacuum I'm using is a Shark Rocket. It is at least 10 years old. I bought it in 2014, early 2014, maybe late, late 2014. It is, it's still a rock star. It does so good. And I'm glad I hung on to it all those years um, because our last house was all hardwood and I never really used it. But this house is almost all carpet. So I'm so glad I hung on to it so that I have a nice vacuum here to use. I'm actually going to show you right here. like. It's not a lot of dirt, but like it picked up a lot of probably dust. Um, I believe our house was empty for about a year before, like it was on the market for about a year um, before we moved into it. Um, and now here I am on my knees, I'm getting these baseboards um, ma um, cleaned. And friends, this house was really, really, really in good shape. I mean, you can see those carpets, and I do, I believe it's my next video. 
it might be this video. I give you kind of a close up of the carpet. There is some like dirt like in the high traffic areas. Here's the um, the baseboard water. It's hard to see in my stainless steel sink, but you can see um, the house is in good shape, but of course it was dusty. Like I said, I believe it was, it sat empty for at least a year before we bought it. Um, so there was just general dirt. And then here's this. The few places that were dirty that you could tell they didn't, I don't know if they didn't maybe think to clean it, was around the door handles and the door frames. Like see right there, um, that's just below the door handle on the front door. And that's just normal wear and like that's just oils from our skin and it's collected the dirt and dust. And like really the, that was really the only bad thing in the house. Everything else was just dusty. Like you'll see um, when I wipe down the walls and I dump that water, like it is dirty water, but it is just dust friends. Um, this house was not filthy by any means and I am so incredibly thankful for that. All right, um, and as you can see, so again, I didn't videotape, but in my empty house tour, you saw that all these windows had blinds and curtains. I've taken those all down except for these blinds on this front window. They're pretty bad, but they're such large blinds. I don't really want to, I mean, they're not terrible. They're just, they're just kind of old. You can tell. I didn't really want to, the cost to replace those right now, but I've taken down all of the curtains and the valances and the blinds in all the other rooms. And I do purchase um, white shears for, for I, I prefer white shears for my my um, cabinets or not my cabinets my windows it helps brighten the rooms up and stuff um, so I believe you'll see those later on All right, this is Saturday morning about 6 a.m. Um, we needed to replace our dishwasher and it was coming this morning so I'm in here getting all of the liners in my drawers and cabinets that are here behind the dishwasher. My dishwasher is right here in my um, island, so that I wouldn't. I'd have them done, and then my done, and then my husband can work on the dishwasher. I'm getting it installed and all that stuff. Friends, I will say um, most of the cupboards were already had liner in them. Um, I I do pull a lot of it out, but some of them I just leave it and put mine over it. But the cabinets were immaculate; like there were no stains or anything in them. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got liners in here so that it could continue to stay that nice. All right, so obviously I'm done in the kitchen and I've moved to the bedrooms. So we have moved into the bedrooms to start washing walls. This is my nephew's room. I didn't show all of it. I didn't show my son's room. And now we're in my room, um, mostly because it was still so early in the morning. And um, we didn't have electricity because my husband <laughs> had to turn off the electricity to do everything that he needed to get done today, which was the dishwasher and installing three prong plugs and ceiling fans. <laughs> And I don't know if you'll notice here in my room, but I even took the curtain rods down in he here too. Um, my room had like the um, drapes that are like, they, they're pinned drapes, like it's a special type of curtain rod and I didn't want those. 
So my room, I took the, the curtain rods down too. And my room was the last room to get um, uh, white shears. I got the boys up pretty quick, but my husband and I, we were, we were giving the neighborhood a show every night when we went to bed because it was, it was quite a few days before I got the shears up in my room. Friends, I can't tell you how sore I was after like three, three and a half straight days of just cleaning and then a long drive, over a six hour drive to get our pups and then right back to moving for like three days straight. I was living on the Advil and Tylenol. It was, it was unreal. I felt like I was a hundred years old. Um, on a good day, my knees hurt and my elbows hurt, but I tell you what, I was in a lot of pain, which is really why I was kind of quiet. Um, I want to thank everyone for being patient with me. Um, you all know that I love to respond back to you guys. Um, it's part of the reason why I started this channel is to not only motivate myself and others, but like to, to make a connection with you guys. Um, so that you know that like there's a real person behind this channel that I really am living this life and I care that you are too and I want to encourage you. So I just want to thank you for being patient with me. I do believe that I'm finally caught up on all comments. Here's the water from my walls. See it's dirty friends but like it's just dusty dirty. Um, but I do believe that I am finally caught up on all comments please let me know if i owe you one like i want to talk to you guys i want to i want to make sure that i'm thanking you for being here and for watching me and commenting um it's really important to me um so again here on my door um again just the grease from your fingers um and it was just collecting the dirt and the dust and stuff all right i am back in the living room and i'm giving this carpet another good vacuum in these key areas where you could just tell that people would walk um, like you could tell where there's been furniture sitting and like you could see the path through it, which is basically what I'm just going to carpet clean in this room. So here I am. This is my bottle that I use. I don't put soap in my, or try not to put soap in my carpet cleaner. I have the cleaner in a spray, very watered down here in a spray bottle that I'm just spraying on those areas that you can see that are kind of dark. Um, so that I can just go over them with my carpet cleaner and I just put hot water in my carpet cleaner. All right, friends, the carpet cleaner I'm using here is from Walmart. I believe it is the Bissell Pet Pro. It's only $99. Um, it's a really good carpet cleaner. Um, I bought it when I lived in my other house that I just had area rugs. But you know what? It did really well on this very plush carpet. Now, if we decide to keep this carpet for longer than just like maybe a year, a six months to a year, I might need to invest in a better carpet cleaner um, because this carpet is super plush. Um, and of course, the, I have teenage boys, so our carpet will get heavy use. Um, so I'm not quite sure yet. I am loving the carpet, but I just, I don't know how well this white, it's actually kind of a creamish color. I just don't know how well this cream carpet is gonna hold up to my teenage boys. And of course the puppies. Um, but we are not letting the puppies on any of the carpet. They are baby gated in our kitchen and dining room, which is linoleum. 
Um, but this is if you have area rugs or just a small, um, small carpet, like maybe just carpet in your bedrooms, th this is a wonderful um, carpet cleaner. Again, it's the Pestle Bissell um, Pet Pro, I believe. Again, if you want to know the exact name, just drop a comment and I'll let you know. I'll send you the link. And it won't be an affiliate link. It'll just be the link to Walmart. And I did just show you the the water. I wonder why it must have been in my editing. As I was saying before the pups so rudely interrupted me, um, I, I did show the water. It was not filthy dirty. It was just like kind of grayish. Um, you can see the spots here um, that I'm going to clean next. Um, and again, even the water when I sh like was done cleaning this it wasn't really that dirty it was you can just tell it was very lightly soiled see here it, that's not real dirty it's just it's like it's dusty that in because a kid was messing with my camera and guess what you mess with my camera you're gonna get shown on the internet all right and here's my sweet hubby we are having to do surgery on this cupboard above our where the fridge is gonna go. It fits perfectly with this fridge that they left, but this fridge is going, it's actually in our garage now. We're using it as like a drink or extra fridge. Um, we brought our good Whirlpool fridge with us. I mean, it's it's less than three years old, um, but it was like an inch too tall. So we had to take um, the bottom out of this cupboard and then just take like that lip that's hanging off over there just had to be shaved off. So I'm just filming my husband. Oh, these pups. Friends, I'm sorry. There's going to be pups in my video for a while. All right, friends, we have about two minutes left. So before it ends, um, I, while I am just finishing up this cupboard with liner, um, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for watching my videos. I want to thank you for liking them. I want to thank you for commenting on them. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you haven't, why the heck not? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you never miss another one of my videos. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I love to bring you guys cleaning motivation. I love to bring you cleaning inspiration. Um, I just, I wanna be here for you friends. So thank you so much for being here for me and I'll see you in the next video.